So last time the episode cut out very, very suddenly because I ran out of disk space on Audacity and it just stopped my commentary. You really didn't miss much. We went to Disney Town, handed in our ice cream ingredients, but we still don't have enough to make a single flavor of ice cream. And I attempted to do another ice cream beat level, but um, I didn't succeed. So we're not even going back there. Instead, we're gonna head over to the New World Neverland Combat Level 7. Let's visit Neverland. I do love me some Peter Pan. And this version of Neverland is definitely the best because we actually get to go to Neverland. <laughs> not just Hook's ship or the outskirts. Oh look, it's Captain Hook and Mr. Smee, my favorite duo. What are they, Captain? Back! You must get me treasure! Leave them to me. So Terra steps in to help him out. What a guy. Defeat all of the unversed. All of them? Yes, all of them. Okay. Say no more. And we can show off our new stuff like Geo Impact. Boom! Barney, my pebbles! <laughs> this is gonna be great. Warp did nothing. Wonderful. So Neverland introduces some new enemies, like these totem pole enemies. And here we go! We finally enter the Thunderbolt command style that we at last unlocked. To enter it, you need to use uh, lightning-based commands. Okay, these big boy monkeys are kind of annoying to deal with, but never mind. No, they're not, because we're stupidly overpowered. Oh yeah, take that. Booyah! Easy victory. Yeah, we're way too powerful for the moment of the game. Like, the rest of the game should be a, a joke now. If I desired your assistance, I'd have demanded it. We had the situation under control. Really? That right, me. Oh, yes, Captain, completely. We would have cleaved those fiends to the brisket, we would. Why, I'd have given him a little of this and this. And don't think your efforts mean you'll get a share of me treasure, understand? I'm not after your precious box, Captain. I'm looking for a person. A boy, wearing a mask. Ring any bells? No, not a one. Figures. It's me, you blithering barnacle. We're off. We shall leave this place before the light draws them back again. Huh? Hey, hold on. What did you just say about the light? Ah, yes, it's heartbreaking, really. This chest, you see, contains light gathered from all around. And I've got an acquaintance, a boy, who's sure to try and seize it. A boy who's after the light. If it's not Benitas, then who? Hey, why don't I help you keep the light safe? Maybe you could tell me more about this boy who's troubling you. What's his name? Peter Pan! <laughs> and thus Terra hires himself out as Hook's bodyguard, because of course he helps the villain out first. It's the Terra way. Welcome to Neverland! No longer are we just confined to Hook's ship or the outskirts of the island. No, we're actually exploring the whole of Neverland today. This about time. must be brought to Skull Rock safely. Don't let that Peter Pan anywhere near it. Right. I got you covered. Well, I mean, if we had to help out a Disney villain, Captain Hook is one of the better ones. He's a pretty swell guy. Warp is still not max level, but we got Blizzara, so that's cool. Uh, what else can we start leveling up? Do, 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 do. We can level up more Blizzaras! Oh, we have another Fandaga. Yeah, let's level that up. Start leveling up some Curas, I suppose. We have another Mind Square? What the heck? We don't need any more of those. Yeah, Neverland, new music. An abounding crystal. How fantastic. I need to get to Skull Rock. You don't want to play? <laughs> All right, fine. I do like how we get to explore the whole island of Neverland now. That's really nice. And if you knew at the shop, bro? Well, oh, we can buy Geo Impact now. That's great. 
Basically, the only command we can't buy that we've made is Mega Flare. That's somewhat disappointing. Oh, yay! Big chest. We get the map early. Beautiful. A map through Neverland. If we go up here, it's the Indian camp. I mean, none of the Indians are actually in this because apparently they were deemed offensive. I disagree. But, yeah, there we go. No enemies up here? Wow, there's just nothing here at the Indian camp. So they, so basically, they kept the land, but got rid of the Indians. Is that... Okay, yeah, that's that's definitely a lot better, isn't it? A high potion still? Don't you think I've outgrown those by this point? I would say I have. I need to get Skull Rock. Oh, we can't enter the tree, which is Peter Pan's hideout. My goodness. Get wrecked. And yes, the enemies here in Neverland will give a large amount of EXP, as well as, uh, command points. So if you're looking to level up your commands, Neverland is the place to do it. Should be a pretty straightforward world, I would say. The totem pole on Burst are pretty simple as well. Kabloom! And you know what? Might as well level up our commands a bit more quickly. I really don't want to use the Ohana B finisher. It takes too long. Instead, I think I'll just keep using the command deck. Alright, there you go. Stitch. And while we're on the subject of that, so if we go to the finish commands... Okay. Now that we've got the Thunderbolt, we're going to go back to Minecraft mod, so that way we can unlock this new uh, finish command. This one is, I believe, getting... It's either... Getting CP or... No, I don't think it's CP. I think this one is defeat a bunch of enemies. This one is let your HP drop to zero a bunch of times, which with second chance we can do that. Then this one is take a bunch of steps. So we're going to do that. We're also going to go to D-Links. Okay, Zack, we absolutely want the super finisher. I like Pete's Rumble Rave better. However, for Experiment 626, we're going to go back to the random beam, which is a lot quicker of a finisher. And honestly, still pretty good as well. Maleficent has the Dragonfire, that's fine. Cinderella, whatever. Aqua, Magic Vault, yeah, yeah, sure, why not? That's, that's okay by me. Yay, do we have one of every ability? No, we're so <laughs> I think this is the one ability we're missing. Oh my gosh, that's so ironic. Wait till you see what that ability is. It's probably the worst ability in the game. Certainly up there, but in the case of Terra's story, it's pretty funny that that's the one ability we don't have. <laughs> wow, he just immediately sum was summoned back. And thankfully, Sonic Impact allows us to travel long distances. Ooh, an elixir. Elixirs kind of stink in this game. Because we don't have, like, a magic meter. We got, it like, a D-Link meter, which we don't really have to worry about, and a focus meter, which with damage siphon, we also don't really have to worry about. <laughs> okay, yeah, we want to keep going into Thunderbolt command style. We just use lightning commands, and we enter it very quickly. And the finisher is pretty cool. We just summon a huge torrent of lightning around us. Very, very nice. And because so many of the best commands in the game are Thunder-based, we'll be entering the Thunderbolt command style a lot, even though we get it, like, towards the end of Terra's story. Aqua and Ventus get Thunderbolt a lot earlier. And I get it, like, they want to have story reasons, like, Terra learns Thunderbolt's command style for defeating the lightning-based experiment. Yeah, I get it. But it's still, like, a very basic boy command. Wow. Level these up even more. Oh, boy, Warp is now at max level. That's great. Actually, while we're on the subject, I want to take a look at my command collection just to see how many we've gotten. Quick Blitz, Blitz, okay, yeah. 
That seems to be in order, more or less. For magic, we are missing a couple down here. Yeah, that's fine. We're missing several items, but most of those are ice cream and the friendship one. Yeah, okay. Missing free shot locks. Yep, that adds up. And yep, yep. Two more D-links. Finish commands. Yeah, we're missing a couple of those. Okay, yeah. That seems to add up. So I know we literally just walked all the way over here, but... I actually got to go back to the shop and buy some stuff. So Tara's like, I literally just walked all the way over there. You're making me go back? Yes, Tara, we are. Because brutal blasts are needed for so many of your remaining commands. And we don't have a whole lot of them. In fact, I don't think we have any of them. We're also going to buy some binding strikes. Not 11 of them, but like three of them. How many Brutal Blasts can we buy? Three. Good enough. Use those, and a Binding Strike. Oh, is Lightning Ray max level now? It is. Cool. Now we can go back to... Honestly, we could go Sonic Shadow, but, man, Chaos Snake is just so disgustingly good. It's, like, truly disgusting how good it is. Thunder! Thunder! See how Thunder Surge just obliterates everything? It's so good. Granted, like, everything obliterates everything at this point, but... Trust me, you'll see the power of Thunder Surge in the near future. Oh, it's a beautiful area over here. A Mega Elixir! Oh boy! I think that was the one of the remaining items we had missing. I knew you were gonna be a trap. The only big chests that really ever appear are the map chests. And occasionally, like, oh, you got the magic recipe for this. But that, even that rarely happens. Shh, man, that's such a cool looking finisher. Zero Gravaga, free of charge. That's awesome. It's not like I haven't had that for a really long time or anything. How do I get up there? Also, I need that sticker. Terra can't jump that high. So let's go up to the highest part. Jump. Okay, that was not at all the direction you were facing, Terra, but... Okay, Terra, you, you're really close, buddy. But we gotta get that sticker. I'm a little old for sticker. I don't care, Terra. I'm not! There we go, rainbow sticker. Aren't you so proud of yourself, Terra? Aren't you proud of yourself that you got that? Also, I don't think this is even the right way to go. We can't go up that cliff. This whole place was a trap. We actually are supposed to go over here. Neverland's actually pretty open, and there's a lot of different places to go. One of the reasons I like the world. And of course, you know, Peter Pan and all that. Not the character, but just the movie in general. Thunder. Wow, we literally destroyed a rock. That's how much damage we were doing. There are rocks in this room that we actually can destroy. No, I don't want Minecraft mod. I wanted Thunderbolt! Yes! Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Brutal Blast just clears him out of the way, too. Gonna wait for the command gauge to drop all the way. That way I don't go into, like, I don't know, critical impact instead of Thunderbolt. That'd be bad.
A mega potion. Well, how nice. Aha! Thought you could hide that from me. Fyraga. Oh boy. I can't believe we have Fyraga. It's not like we haven't had that for a while. Thunder. Thunder. There we go. We unlocked Rama's Judgment. For entering the Thunderbolt command style like 12 times. I can't wait to show that one off. But first... We can't just call it Rama's Judgment. Cloak yourself in lightning and perform a flurry of quick attacks, then press X at the right time to follow up with a jumping attack. Yeah, we're, uh, we're changing that name. <laughs> now it's 1.21 gigawatts! <laughs> Marty, we can't do that! <laughs> oh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. What's in this treasure chest? We get an Efer. Wonderful. Uh, we actually don't want to go to that next... Actually, wait. Never mind. This is not the room I thought it was. There's a couple chests in here for us to grab. Oh, yeah. High potion. Yay! Oh, hey, it's a boat! Let's go over to Skull Rock. Okay, Skull Rock we actually did kind of go to in 358 over two days, but not this to this extent. Alright, here we go. So I'm hoping I can show off 1.21 gigawatts before my command gauge runs out. Here we go. Uh, that's not as impressive as I was hoping, I gotta be honest. Eh, well, what you gonna do? I guess in the meantime, let's go for my pebbles! <laughs> I do love my pebbles. Wow, everything's max level now. That's great. Okay, what to do? Well, I know what to do. We're gonna meld some of these brutal blasts. Brutal Blast, Fire Strike, Abounding Crystal. Meteor Crash with Link Prize Plus. That's pretty nice. Meteor Crash, leap high into the air and then use your Keyblade to bring it down on the enemy along with a slew of meteors. Uses two slots. That's gonna be pretty fun to use, I do think. Brutal Blast, Binding Strike, Shimmering Crystal gives us a Limit Storm with Fire Screen. Hooray. Save it through that one. Now we're gonna do Binding Strike plus Collision Magnet with a Shimmering Crystal, which gives us Magnet Spiral with Thunder Screen. All right, let's see what these bad boys are at. So definitely Meteor Crash for sure. That's a good one. We're also going to level up a Poison Edge. We're going to need to get that uh, up to meld it with something else. Magnet Spiral, use Magnetic Force to pull in surrounding enemies, then punish them all at once with a single spin attack. Sounds like Magnet Burst from uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Yes, please. Limit Storm, perform a spinning attack that deals additional damage if you're low on HP. Cool. What else? Uh... Oh, here. Here's something that we should probably do. Cure plus Cura. Attach a Shimmering Crystal. Cure Aga with Cure Boost. I don't know what else to equip, so I'll just put Ka uh, Chaos Blade back on. That'll be fun. We got a Panacea in there. We can high jump our way up here. Doggone it. I'm pretty sure if we... This is a secret way into Skull Rock, but I'm pretty sure if we enter through here, it'll just enter us into the boss battle, so whatever. Mega Elixir. I'm pretty sure if we... Because you can see that ledge over there. We can do an Air Dash plus Sonic Impact in order to get over there, but I'm pretty sure going over the center is going to teleport us into the boss room. But let's try anyways. <gasps> no, never mind. We did make it to the other side. Our Solemn. There we go. And a Chaos Crystal. No, no, no. For forget Chaos Blade. We're equipping our Solemn. Not ours, Arcanum. Our Solemn. Assail enemies with ferocious strain of blows. Press triangle at the end of each attack to attack on a few extra hits for good measure. Yes. Oh, man. That's such a cool looking attack, too. It's the ice cream guys. Golden jam. Okay, no, I don't want to go off the edge. A chip sticker. A whipped dream. Is 
that all of them? Darn, that was. Shoot. Well, we still got our Solemn, so that's great. That's exactly what we'll be taking advantage of in this next fight. Well done. Thank you. Pardon me, Captain, but it's about that shooting star I was mentioning to ye. Mr. Smee, I ordered you to drop that. I'll not have you gushing on about some shooting star. Yeah, but, but, Captain, most shooting stars twinkle for a bit and then they go out. But this one, it, it kept on sparkling and shining even after it crashed down. Why, what if it's really a big, enormous, priceless gemstone? Idiot! Why didn't you tell me? Hmm? <clears throat> We've a bit of business to attend to and must, I fear, step away. I trust you can see to things till I return. Sure. When Peter Pan gets here, I'll be waiting. I'll be honest, I'll forgive Terra for this one, because Captain Hook, he's a bit of a jerk, but he doesn't seem evil. He's just kind of like, eh, it makes sense why Terra would be fooled by him. It's just ridiculous that Terra gets fooled by the villain in, like, literally every single world. It's a good thing that my bodyguard rates are so reasonable. Hook would never be able to avoid someone as good as Terra. Even on critical mode. Shh. That old codfish. Looks like he's found himself a new flunky. I'll fly down and distract him. Men, you move in and nab the treasure. Are you Peter Pan? At me! The light is not yours to take. <laughs> it's time for the boss of Neverland. Put Peter Pan in his place. <laughs> yep, we get to fight Peter Pan as the boss. Hey Peter Pan, eat our me. soul. Boom! Get wrecked. Alright, you can pack a punch. Not as much as me, though. Boom! And yeah, that's an easy fight. And we get the blade charge command style for beating him. We don't have to kill him, we just put him in his place. What do you want with the light? Light? What light? Look, Pan! We got the chest! No! Not yet, you blockheads! Hey! Look. That hurt. Oh, sorry. Now what is this? Pirate treasure, of course. Jewels, doubloons, you know, the usual stuff. I've been guarding a pile of loot. Sounds like you've been tricked. <laughs> it's not the first time that happened. <laughs> I'll say. I owe you an apology. I picked a fight over nothing. Oh, it was all in good fun. I just beat the crap out of you with our soul. I don't think that that's nothing. <laughs> Not every day I get to fight such a good swordsman. Say, what's your name anyway? Tara. Right then, Tara. Which way did Hook go? They said something about a shooting star. Shooting star? Tinkerbell must be in danger. Men, guard that treasure with your lives! Aye, aye, sir! You go and get him, Pan! Well, I should be on my way. Just leaves the treasure back there. Forged a D-Link with Peter Pan. That's the last D-Link. Peter Pan D-Link is pretty good as well. It's not even at the very end of the world either. That's cool. Alright. So, uh, hang on. Going to the D-Links. We now have Peter Pan, dealing with Peter Pan to change your arsenal. He has jumping based attacks. And the sword bill finisher is insane on a level 1 run. <laughs> but even so, it's still pretty good. You just hit the enemy like a bunch of times with your keyblade. It's, it's really, really, really good. As for stats, we now have the blade charge command style. Activates when you are already using a command style and follow with fire related commands, blizzard related commands, or strike attacks like fire strike. So, it, whereas for Rock Breaker, we mainly use Earth-based attacks or explosives. Blade Charge, we're going to need to use basically Fire and Ice attacks. And it turns us into a command style where we get a giant magic sword. It's pretty cool. 
All right, at this point, going to the reports, did we get all of the treasures here in Neverland now? Oh no, we're actually missing a couple. We're missing four of them, wow. Burr, burr, burr. This place looks nice. Why did we have to leave for this to happen? If we go back in the cave, now it's the, the real final fight of Neverland. Which is even easier than Peter Pan. Unversed. Stay back. Defeat countless unversed. I can I don't know, I can count these pretty much. But once again, these are the jelly floats that die in one hit. And oh man, this is going to be great for getting my next finish command. Alright, time for Magnet Spiral. That was not as good as I thought it would be. Yeah, our Solemn is pretty good. Oh yeah, unlocked Dark Star 1. I'll tell you what, Magnaga, disgustingly good at this fight. Magnaga just destroys all jelly foes in the vicinity. Alright, let's show off Dark Star 1. Ooh, oh my gosh, that's so good. I mean, you're using the darkness, which is kind of, it's your whole journey is to not use the darkness, but whatever. Oh, we don't even have to kill them all. We just kill most of them, and it's they say good enough. Yep. That was pretty easy. Boy, you sure cut that monster down to size. Not one, it was a bunch of them. Ahoy! How fair ye, lad! Hook! Go hide. Fine. All's well. <laughs> he's so he's so smug. <laughs> What's that? Tinkerbell, one of Peter Pan's dearest friends. Can I take a look? He's like, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> so long as I have his precious pixie, Pan's demise is all but assured. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? You know, I didn't give it that much thought. <laughs> Just doing what my heart tells me. That's mutiny. And you'll walk the flag for it. I'll fight you. <gasps> that sound. Oh man, that's a great thumbnail opportunity. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> we sure show hook this time. Yeah, we did. Oh yay! It's so heartwarming. Every star up there is another world. Huh? Tara. I missed my friends. Yep. I don't know why I called my friendship off with them for nothing. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, then. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now. Remember back when we laughed at nothing? That was great. I love those times. Even though it only happened a few days ago. Oh, how much for the pirate treasures? Hmm. What happened to them? Did you guys really want the jewels and gold that badly? Hmm? No, nah, we don't care about that stuff. Uh, but a uh, pan was counting on us. I'll tell you what. Put the stuff that's really special to you in there. That can be your treasure. Yeah! yeah. Real swell idea! Thanks! Yeah. 
So what do you guys like? Rocks, food. <laughs> kind of makes me wonder. Klondike bars, what burger coupons, that kind of stuff. And we get the Pixie Petal Keyblade, a keyblade that makes up for its poor reach with an extra boost in magic. It also makes it easier to land critical hits and deals higher damage when you do. Not a very good keyblade for Terra because it has really bad strength, but it's like it's got like five magic. It's like no thanks. What's this? Light? This light. It's so warm. And now we're going to the shortest world in the game, Destiny Islands. Because barely even counts as a world. We don't actually walk around or anything, it's just a cutscene. Hmm. It's the Papu Fruit! Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. I gotta eat one. My life will be entwined with mine and mine alone. <laughs> That's what happens if you eat the papu fruit alone. Do 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 do. Aqua. Then, I wonder if we'll ever be a team again. Maybe if you talk with each Looks other. Like all the things that once held us together just push us further away. And now the light has led me here. What am I supposed to do? I just don't know. Yep, Sora and Riku are in this game. They didn't even notice this big guy who's never been here before. Just like that happens. Light. Was I guided here in order to meet that boy? Wrong boy, bro. Oh, ahoy! We're over here! Riku, race ya! First one to the boat gets to be captain! <laughs> So much for I can't run anymore. Rika will be unbeatable in a race one day. But today is not that day. So we're like, okay, stranger danger, let's not talk to him. Riku's like, I don't care about stranger danger. Did you come from the outside world? Huh? Why would you say that? Because nobody lives out here. And I know you're not from the main island. Smart kid. So how about you? What are you doing here? Oh. My friend's dad took us out on the boat. Sora has parents, canonically, but we never see them. <laughs> and they've only been mentioned, like, twice. Also, his dad is clearly not here. This is where we like to play. We're out here by ourselves. Not till we get older. Must be hard, huh? Stuck in one place. I heard once there was a kid who left for good. So how did you get here anyway? I flew on a key. Is there some reason you're interested in the outside world? Yeah. I want to be strong one day. Like that kid who left. He went to the outside world. I bet he's really strong now. I know it's out there somewhere. The strength that I need. Strength for what? To protect the things that matter. You know, like my friends. You remind me of me when I was your age. 
Outside this tiny world is a much bigger one. Bro, that's not the keyboard I've equipped. That's the bad generic keyboard. In your hand, take this key. So long as you have the makings, then through this simple act of taking, its wielder you shall one day be, and you will find me, friend. No ocean will contain you then. No more borders around or below or above. So long as you champion the ones you love. Well, this is interesting. Riku! Why are you talking to that old guy we don't know? Come on, hurry it up! You gotta keep this a secret, okay? Otherwise, all the magic will wear off. Bro, why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what was that all about? Uh, you know. Know what? Why won't you tell me? Who was that guy? Somebody you know? Maybe. Oh, there you go again. Just tell me. I really can't. I've got to keep it a secret. Now it's me, don't. I'm like the best secret keeper in the world. Nice try. <laughs> oh, Riku. Protect the things that matter. Right. My friends matter to me, too. Duh. So, I still have things that I have to protect. And here we immediately get a new keyblade, Ends of the Earth. A well-balanced keyblade that provides an extra boost to all of your stats. It's basically a better version of our default keyblade. And wow, that does that keyblade look familiar, doesn't it? Yep, this is the keyblade that Lingering Will uses. Light. That light. Is it Ben? Master Terra. Find me. We must speak at once. Master Xehanort. I trust you with everything. <laughs> Terra, creepy grandpa calls. You must go and buy me some soup. <laughs> Some soup? No, soup from like the the stand soup that sells soup. Oh, okay. I like the chicken noodle terror. <laughs> Unlock the command board for Neverland. Yeah, Neverland's got a command board as well. And this is Destiny Islands. It's just an orb of light. We can't actually do anything in the land there. So like, is it a world? Is it not? I counted it as a world, but barely. Okay. So open it up the menu. First things first, folks. You gotta go to finish commands, and we gotta rename Dark Star 1 to something that's not stupid. This is the Ansem special. <laughs> because Ansem does love him some darkness, after all. Oh yeah. Alright, going over to items. So, Pixie Petal, free strength, six magic. Pretty good magic, not good strength. Then ends of the earth, five strength, free magic. Super reach, yes please. Oh, that looks that looks like such a good keyblade. All right, we got to go to the, to the Badlands. This is because, of course, of course, Master Xehanort is hanging out in a place called the Badlands. Terra, how do you not see what's going on here, bro? Tell me that's not creepy. <laughs> Just this old guy standing on this remote stalagmite, going out of the ground in a dark cloak, like <laughs> Terra. Well, I've got a special mission for you. <laughs> Just ignore the golden eyes. Master Xehanort, you wish to see me? There is no time to lose. You called me over? Couldn't you, like, call me on the phone telepathically, tell me what you needed to? Uh, don't ask questions. <laughs> I have terrible news. Ventress has stumbled upon the secrets of his origins. Then, I just saw him. He passed right in front of me. What happened? Ventress is on his way home. If you could have seen the fury in his eyes. I'm certain he's capable of anything. I fear the boy may attempt to force the truth out of Ericus. Master Terra, you must hurry back and see to your friend's safety. How did you get up on that stalagmite? 
Ignore that. There's more important things, Terra. Of course. Aren't I the most trustworthy person in the whole game? Duh, Master Xehanort, of course. <laughs> and we unlock the Dark Impulse Command style. Oh boy, that's a fun one. <laughs> oh, and we can't go back to the Badlands, because somebody cast a Dark Barrier over it. I wonder who that could have been. Now we gotta go back to the Land of Departure again. Okay, before we do that, we gotta, hang on, there's, there's a new, <laughs> wait, we're not at that, uh, wait, where are the command styles? Is that under stats? Yeah, command styles. Dark Impulse activates when you are already using a command style, followed with zero gravity related commands, magnet related commands, or dark commands. Gee, I wonder what Terra will try to use. Anyways, we're continuing on. Going off to the land of departure. Here we go. But you must exist no more. Ericus, what's going on? Hey. What? Master! Have you gone mad? Terra! I command you. Step aside. No! You will not heed your master. I won't! Why do all my attempts to reach you fail? If you don't have it in your heart to obey, then you will have to share Ventus's fate. Whoa! Bro! Stop! Enough, Terra! He's right! Quiet! Eric is going crazy. You may be my master, but I will not let you hurt my friend. The darkness taking you, Terra. But then he summons a portal of light. <laughs> Why is wanting to protect your friend like a dark fiend? What? <laughs> Wait, Terra. Just throw Ventus into a teleporter. Now apparently we have to fight Master Ericus because he wants to kill us. Quell Master Ericus's anger. Love the music though. This is Terra's theme, and it's pretty great. And as soon as this fight begins, we instantly enter the Dark Impulse command style. It's like a special command style event. And Ericus is a pretty tough fight. I don't think he's going to be very difficult at the level we're at, but still. Dark Fist. As you can see, he's doing a lot of damage. You gotta be able to counter. Or just Shawlock him. <laughs> but even the Shawlock's not doing as much damage as it would do a lot of other enemies. But it still is pretty good. weak. As, and you can see Ericus is also attempting to uh, guard us. Uh-oh. No! We actually died because I couldn't find my cure. And because of Sonic Impact. Sonic Impact doesn't really have any invincibility frames. Well, Ericus is anger. Ericus is definitely one of the toughest fights in Terra's story. He's very fast, very powerful, and will actually guard your attacks. The Dark Impulse finisher is crazy. You go underground and, like, make this massive hand in here. Let's go. Wow, he just no sold my R Solemn. You're done. 
Most of the commands I have for this fight are not really good for Ericus. But Counter Hammer still does an insane amount of damage. Also, Dark Impulse is the only command style we can use during this fight. Basically, if we enter a command style, we just go straight to Dark Impulse. For story reasons. Because Terra's basically just like, Darkness Awaken! Bye, Ericus. Well, I mean, you started it. <laughs> We just were trying to save our friend, bro. And then, oh, wait. Maybe we should have held back a bit. What have I done? Master. I just... wanted to keep Ven safe. No. You were right. I failed you, Terra. Perhaps I've no one to blame but myself for the darkness inside you. And now, I've done worse. Raised my keyblade against you and Ventus. My own heart is darkness. I don't think I did that. No! Mark Hamill! <laughs> Master Ericus. What a sight. Why do you trouble yourself with remorse, Master Terra? The man was bent on doing harm to your friend, his own pupil. <laughs> Master Xehanort! Why? I don't understand. Terra, I'm the bad guy. <laughs> you no, know, at times I find your progress quite striking. But you still fall short. Let all that anger out, my boy. Give your heart over to darkness. What do you mean? I literally just spelled it out for you. Still so blind. Then I will make you see. Come to the place where all Keyblade wielders leave their mark on fate. The Keyblade Graveyard. There you will watch your dear Ventus and Aqua meet their ends. And the last fight within you will die. Well, there goes the land of departure, I guess. You won't need a home anymore. What? Xehanort! You betrayed me? <laughs> yes, I was the final villain who you trusted and then betrayed you. You didn't learn anything in those Disney worlds. <laughs> well, it's not like the place is architecturally stable to begin with, but still. Wow, Xehanort, who could have seen this coming? Literally everybody. I guess this is why we don't see the land of departure in any other Kingdom Hearts games, huh? <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have gotten all those dark based commands, and the dark based finish command, and the dark based shot locks, and trusted Xehanort who said darkness was cool, <laughs> and Hades who said darkness was cool. <laughs> And here we get the Chaos Ripper Keyblade, a Keyblade of all reach that does little for your magic but provides an outstanding boost in strength. This is honestly the best Keyblade in the game for Terra, like even better than the bonus Keyblade. It's insane. And we get Xehanort's report number eight. It's actually just an opening like, haha Terra, you're so stupid for trusting me. <laughs> well, maybe not. Anyways though, 
the very first thing we go. Even though we just got into the earth, Chaos Ripper. 10 strength! Negative 2 magic. Magic don't really matter for Terra. With that much reach and literally double the strength of this, which is already a powerful keyboard. Um, yeah, yeah, we're equipping that. I know it's darkness, and we probably shouldn't be doing that. But I can't help it. We're, we're doing it. <laughs> and now, let's look at the next Xehanort report, number 8. My brother, P my brother pupil Ericus thinks only in absolutes. <laughs> Where have we heard this before? He has persuaded himself that light is the only way, but forgets that light cannot exist without shadow. I believe a balance of light and darkness is what sustains our world, but too much of the darkness has been stamped out, disrupting that balance. Someone must tear down this tyranny of light and recognize the world around the darkness which creeps back in. Ericus and I did not see eye to eye. I left and wandered the world. This was perhaps the first time I felt truly free since that day I departed my boyhood home. But free to do what? I had already been shown the mark and become a Keyblade Master. But having been passed over as successor, all that remained to me was the road of teacher. Ordinarily, Keyblade Masters take pupils under their wings, malleable minds in which to impress the precepts of the Keyblade Wielder, and keep our profession alive for the generations to come. Was my time coming to an end then? After all, I had accomplished since casting away the top place of my birth? Surely waiting for a quiet death would not do. Not when there was still so much I needed to see for myself. Powers help me, I thought. My body is so old. Well, that's... That's somewhat ominous. I don't know what we should be doing about that one. But there we go. Land of Departure, 100%. We got everything in Castle of Dreams. Wait, did we get everything in Dwarf Woodlands? Okay, hang on. We did not get all of the stickers in those worlds. Sticker album, sticker collection. We're missing one... Okay, so the crown doesn't actually mean that we've completed the stickers. Okay, we're missing one in Neverland as well. We're missing the one in Olympus Coliseum, everything in Radiant Garden, one in... Okay, then we're going back to these worlds and getting the stickers. We need them. I already remember in the Enchanted Dominion, the sticker is up here in the rafters of the main area. Oh, eh, well, no. After we collect all the stickers, I'm unequipping Sonic Impact, because that actually is kind of hurting me. Yeah, here we go, this bad boy. Beautiful. We get the Huey sticker. One other thing we're gonna do while visiting these past worlds is get ice cream ingredients, and we have the perfect deck for that. Well, almost a perfect deck. We got Magnet, Fundaga, 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 Magnaga, Fundara, Fundara, Fundara. Yeah. And this is what we will be using for getting the ice cream ingredients. But also, we're going to be using this to get the stickers. The Louie sticker. Thank goodness we got that. We don't want to leave without that. And I think with high jump and all of our, like, dash boosts, we can just skip all... Yeah, we can skip all that. Here we are. And this is how we get ice cream. Dark Impulse? I don't think so. Oh good, we needed another level up. We needed more strength, that's for sure. <laughs> Tara, I'm worried you're going over to the darkness. What makes you say that? <laughs> I just don't understand why you would, you would think that. Oh, another thing we can do are these dark portals. There's a powerful negative energy. Let's see what it is. Tara loves powerful dark negative energy. Big boy treasure chest. Attack the fireballs launched by the flame box. Don't let them hit the ground or the mission will end. Okay. Thunder. 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 Gather. <laughs> Magnet just Magnica just destroys those. Thunder. I don't know how many of these we need to destroy in order to get the prize at the end. Thunder. Gather. But at the very least, Magnica just absolutely wrecks house. Gather. And we only need one Magnica.
I think 50 is maybe the cutoff. And honestly, it might be 30. Oh well, now he's spitting a whole lot more, so. If we get a high enough score, though, we do get a special prize at the end. I think it's 50. Alright. Well, let's just see what happens. Okay, I'll destroy all those, though. Looks like we did well. Yeah, free star rank. Cool. And here we get Thyraga. So I guess you could do that earlier, but I mean... If you do... It's gonna be a whole lot harder, because you won't have access to things like Magnaga. Plus five attack haste. Trying to remember where the ice cream guys appear. Because the ice cream guys don't always appear when you enter a world. There is an element of chance. Alright, I actually can't remember what the Chaos Crystal does, so I'm going to attach it to these to see what happens. Fandago with Defender. Okay, I already have Defender. Whatever. That really wasn't worth it. And while we're here, we're actually going to just buy another Magnaga because we got... Oh, we barely have the cash for it. Can we sell some of our crystals? We can't, but I want to sell the crystals. Okay, how about we sell some of these arrows that we're not using? I'll keep two of them. Also sell some of these Blizzaras. Sell like six Blizzaras, get a bunch of cash back? Yes, please. There we go, the ultimate deck. Magnaga plus four <laughs> Two Magnagas and then six Fundagas. This will be great. I still gotta track down those stupid ice cream guys in Enchanted Dominion. I think they spawn in the rivers in the forest clearing area by the river. But it's totally random if they do or not. And I can't remember if it's like in this part of the area, in like the corner. Or if it's like up here. I remember they spawn up here for one of the characters. I just can't remember which one it is. Here we are. There they are. Thunder. Thunder. Give me all these uh, ice cream ingredients. Thunder. Wow, we just we killed them all. <laughs> yeah, so that's like a 50-50 chance whether they spawn here or not. There are like two separate sets of enemies you can get in the forest clearing. Or in the waterway or whatever it's called. Alright, for this next portal in the uh, dwarf woodlands... We're going to want basically as many healing things as we can get. So, Cure, Cura, Cura, Curaga, Curaga, and Curaga. Yes, we do want all of that because uh, this next one, base, if memory serves, we're going to be taking a lot of damage here. Let's see what the powerful negative energy is. Yep, okay, so it's this guy. He's gonna spew poison all over the place. The area is shrouded in poison. Attacking the Vitality Vial will make it release clouds of HP. Use these clouds to stay alive. But we're also going to want to use our Cure Cannons for that as well. As you can see, our HP is depleting a lot. Wow. We just ran out of time entirely. Cool. Yeah, I want to retry that. The lock-on command wasn't working properly. And I think for this one you gotta survive for a minute.
Definitely helps to have a decent sized HP bar for this one. I also like the finish commands that give us a lot of invincibility frames. A minute has passed, that's... I believe a minute is the time frame for getting the free stars and the prize at the end. Two stars?! Let me guess, it's like, oh no, it needs to be like a minute. I'm gonna go two minutes then. But Terra did the victory dance and everything. Surely two minutes will give me three stars, right? There we go. Not too bad. Here we get the Illusion V. That is a command you can only get through getting three stars here. Ooh. How exciting. It also occurs to me that we should probably change our finish command to BUNK TIME. <laughs> so that way we can keep taking steps. Because we're not really leveling up our CP here. Rather, what we're doing is we're just trying to uh, get some stuff that we missed. Okay, here we go. Flying balloon sticker. Hooray. Powerful dark energy inside the palace. Let's check it out. Oh, boy. Well, this one should be shoo Defeat as many lone runners as you can before the timer runs out. And he, once again, Magnica's just going to help out tremendously. Thunder! Thunder! Actually, just Fundaga in general helps out tremendously with this one. Although how fast they are is definitely obnoxious. Kill 50 of them. No! Please be free, stars. Okay, good. I thought 50 was the cutoff. No, it's not. We got free stars, and we get the Illusion L. That's a weird command. Now we gotta find the ice cream. Terra want ice cream. Here we are. Thunder. Thunder. I would like ice cream, please. Thunder. Thunder. There's also a sticker that we did not get here in Dwarf Woodlands. Must be out in the Flower Glade, because that was the only room I didn't check. Aha! How did I not get this one? It's literally just lying here for me to pick up. I could have grabbed that on my first visit. Well, I would have done play am. Huh. Mysterious Tower has some puzzle pieces, or not, balloon stickers and other stickers. 
And pretty much all of them, we need to have the high jump ability to grab. Actually, was that the only one? Just in the Sorcerer's Loft? Oh, there was only one there. Alright, for this next one, I've got all of my Surge commands equipped, because if memory serves, the Surges are the best ones to have for the Radiant Garden Dark Portal. So I believe, yep, it's this, buddy. Hit the valve on the belly balloons back to deflate it. Don't attack its stomach, that'll cause it to inflate. So what we want to do is get behind it. And if we can hit it rapidly, which the surges are the best way to do that. You gotta do it in a really fast time. So I'm not sure if that was fast enough. But, we'll see. Nope, that was fast enough. Surge has hit it a, ra a rapid amount of time, a rapid amount of times in a short amount of time. Which means that it deflates it very quickly. And we get the Illusion B. Lovely. Now we gotta find where the free... Stickers are. I, I knew there'd be one over here, Mr. Potter. Alright, Ice Cream Guys should be spawning over here in the fountain patio. Yes, beautiful. Yeah, soy milk. Gross. Alright, just gotta find the last sticker here. There we go, Dale sticker. Okay, the ice cream guys in Disney Town are on this blue part of the building. So we gotta go through the Pete pinball machine in the sewers. Jump, then use air slide plus uh, sonic impact to get over here. And hopefully the ice cream guys actually will spawn. Cool, they did. Wonderful. Toon Basco. I don't want that in my ice cream. There we go. Oh boy, another level up. <laughs> How grand. So your commands for this next upcoming uh, Dark Portal really don't matter. You mainly are using your physical attacks. Just make sure you got a keyblade with, key with long reach. A powerful negative energy. Defeat as many Reeners as you can in two minutes. Attack the original one to make the rest disappear. Attack the wrong one and you'll lose five seconds off of the clock. So basically he's going to clone himself. And what you got to do is you got to remember where the original one was. That was him. Now he's spawning over here. That's not the one I said to hit. One annoying thing is just going to the next Rainer. Um, that was weird. Okay, I think it's this one. Nope. Nope. Great. The camera does not help us. Nope. 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 Well, we're definitely not getting a high score for this one. No siree. No, 30, that's not a good record at all. Two stars is honestly better than I would have expected for that. Let's try that again. You cannot Sonic Impact into them. <laughs> no, sir. Let's see if the camera and the lock-on works a little bit better. There we go. I hope it didn't hit the wrong one first. Oh, 
Okay, you were not there two seconds ago. What the heck? I hate it when they stick close together as well. They figured out the whole Kingdom Hearts, my friends are my power vein, and it's quite annoying. No, that's not the one I said to hit, Terra. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was bad. That was very bad. So often it's literally just Terra walking onto and hitting the wrong one. What? Oh, that's BS! There was only one, I hit him, and then it spawned a bunch of others on top of it. Wow, I still got three stars, though. Illusion R. Great. Alright, we're missing- oh. The sticker's apparently in here. Didn't even realize it. Balloon sticker! Terra, your friends are literally in danger right now. No, gotta collect stickers. And go to dark portals. It's very important. Well, we can go to the next dark energy portal. Oh boy, jelly floats! Defeat 300 jelly floats as quickly as possible. Well, I've got a good deck for this. Booyah, under 20 seconds. Surely that's a free star, right? Oh, yeah. That one's easy. And we get Stopaga. Here we are. There are the ice cream guys. Nutty Nuts. Is that the only thing you guys are going to drop? Nutty Nuts? No, oh, there we go. Thunder Crackers. And, you know, before we leave... Hey, got time for a little training? All right, let's just show it off. Break the urns. Break lots and lots of urns to score higher than Hercules. B destroy more urns by riding barrels or by using the barrel bombs. The giant urns are worth lots more points. Can we use, like, our commands like Magnaga and Fundaga? We can, but wow, Hercules is doing great. Are you doing this good? Hercules, what a jerk! <laughs> Dang, Hercules is doing great! Like, he's definitely keeping this interesting. <laughs> it's bunk time! Ooh, I'm gonna ride the barrel. Nope! That was my barrel! Jerkules, that was my barrel. Alright. Jump on top, here we go! This is actually one of the best way of racking up points, is to just ride the barrel and run over everything. Ow! I win Hercules. You win. <laughs> oh, we did Sonic Blade for that? Oh, dude, I'm so glad I did that. Sonic Blade's a great command. Dude, I should have done that earlier. Sonic Blade is great. All right, well, we saw the ice cream guys in here uh, l last time we went in. But we didn't have all the magnets and thunders equipped. Thunder! So let's Thunder. get some more. Gather. Thunder. 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 Gather. Thunder. 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 Powerful negative energy in deep space. It's a big boy. Attacking the gluttonous goo will make it drop colorful orbs. Collect as many as you can in two minutes. He's got a hundred of them. Gather. Take that. 
It's bunk time! Why is that not making him drop anything? Nothing from Chaos Snake? I want to get all a hundred, man. Okay. Looks like we'll be getting different commands. Like, say, Cure. There we go. Kiragas and Magnet Square, and Mind Squares. That's what the audience wants. Why does it keep getting to reabsorb them all? I've got five treasure magnets, bro. Why does it keep getting to reabsorb them all? I have five treasure magnets. I do remember this one being annoying getting all of the orbs for. But honestly, block plus counter hammer seems to be getting the job done. I hit it and I get like a small handful of orbs. If it hits me, it gets to absorb like all of them. This is the most unfair fiend I've seen since Fruit Ball. Okay, we just have one left. Come on. No! It gets to grab it. Give it to me. Hey! I heard the sound effect of me picking it up. Okay, I didn't need all of them. We still got free stars. Cool. We get stun block. Oh, we I guess we didn't need to meld it ourselves. Whoops. Oh well. Alright, now we've got the Dark Orb here in Neverland. And for this one, we're going to want a mix of Fire, Thunder, and Blizzard commands. So, thankfully we've got two Fire Surges. Actually, I'm going to have the Fire stuff all next to each other. We also have some Thunder Surges. As for Blizzard, let's see. Well, we've got some Blizzaras. That's going to have to do. And we're going to the Indian camp. You thought that there was nothing here. And, well, you were right. But after you beat the world, this is where the, uh, the Dark Orb appears. There's a powerful negative energy. I love powerful negative energies. Let's go. It's one of these totem pole guys. Attack the element cluster with the corresponding magic elements. So I can't remember if it's the one on top that's what you need to hit it with, or the one in the middle. I think it's the one on top. Nope, it's the one in the middle. Okay, now it's fire. Now we got the wizards. Thunder Surge works the best for this. Fire Surge also does great. Oh, hey, it's Blade Charge. I didn't even realize I triggered that. Breathe. 
Wizard's not as ideal, but there's also no Blizzard Surge, so... If you can space your Thunder Surge out, you can hit him so many times with a single Thunder Surge. Same with Fire Surge, obviously. And it doesn't matter the power of the commands that you use, all that matters is how many times you hit them with a command that is that theme. Which is why Thunder Surge and Fire Surge work so doggone well, because, again, they hit so many times in such a short time period. 92. That's pretty good. Come on, you gotta give me three stars for that one. Yeah, yeah, give, it the, give them to me. And we get the Voltage Stack. That's a new command. So let's take a look at all these new commands that we grabbed. They're all here at the bottom. So Voltage Stack. Jolt enemies with electricity. Line up your markers with the left stick to trigger an explosion. Uses three slots. This is a big one. Illusion L. Transform into a lone runner and gain access to its abilities for a short period of time. This will literally trans... So all these illusions will transform us into the different unversed. Illusion V. Transform into a vitality vial. Gain access to its abilities for a short period of time. Transform into a reiner. Gain access to its abilities for a short period of time. Transform into a belly balloon. Gain access to its abilities. So, I at least want to show some off. It'll be fun. Plus, we need to look for the final sticker. Oh, also, if you talk to Peter Pan here after you clear the world, it's great. Grown-ups can be real good at telling fibs. I'd watch out if I were you. You look like an easy guy to trick. You are not wrong, Peter Pan. Is there something in like the Rainbow Crest Falls area that we didn't get? No, we, we got him here. Yeah, Illusion L. It's so weird. Like, it's kind of cool that they gave this to us. But, like, it's really bad. Like, it's not worth doing. Voltage V, Vitality Vial. Aromatherapy. Draining Mist as a finisher. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not very good. And as you can see, Voltage Stack is taking an eternity and a half to recharge. Because it's not an attack command or a magic command, it just takes forever. Want some? And it's not even that powerful considering it's free slot requirement. So yeah, definitely not good. But we gotta have these in order to meet our command quota. Like I said, the Mickey Mouse, like, friendship commands are its own, their own unique thing, which means attack hastes and magic hastes don't apply to them. It's rather annoying. So where's the missing sticker? It's probably somewhere in the Skull Rock vicinity. Oh! Treasure chest over there. Forgot about that. Oh, great, and now Captain Hook is shooting at me with his pirate ship. Just what I needed. This will take us back to Mermaid Lagoon. And this is where two of the chests are. We get Geo Impact. And a big boy chest. Oh boy, the Rainer. What the heck does this do? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely worthless. Belly balloon, though. Nope. Terrible. <laughs> Utterly terrible. Oh, I forgot. 
There's also a chest down here in this secret area. You gotta swim to it, though. Dark Haze. Now, is that it for the treasures here in Neverland? No, there are two more. Wow. Still more. Maybe they're on the seacoast and I missed them? Because I was too busy fighting the enemies all in here? No? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. I don't think there are any more chests here that I didn't already grab. But it never hurts to double check, I suppose. Yeah, we grabbed all the chests here. Maybe they're over. Maybe they are over by Skull Rock. Well, this is a random enemy to find in Skull Rock. It's like the jelly guy we fought in deep space, but uh, a bit easier. Cool. All right, the ice cream guys should appear up here. We can fill our bellies with the ingredients, unless they just decide not to spawn. Oh. All right, then. If we leave and come back, could they spawn again? Or do we have to leave the world entirely? I think we actually have to leave the world entirely, which is very, very dumb. Here we are. Had to leave in the room and come back a couple times, but now they're up here. Yes, dancing lemons, yes, with dreams. Yes. Give me all of them. The only ones I have not grinded up for now are the ones you can only get in the Mirage Arena. I got a couple of those, the uh, lemony lemons or whatever they're called. Now, as for the last two chests in Wonderland, or in Wonderland, in Neverland, can't remember exactly where they are, but I have a hunch. If we go to the gully, can we access Peter Pan's hideout now? Because normally it's inside this tree. Aha! There we go! Peter Pan's hideout. Yes, this is where we need to go. We got a big chest in here. With a mega magic recipe, a little chest with a shimmering crystal, and the Dewey sticker. Ah, I wish I could decide on my most favorite treasure. It's me. Pan's real good at games. He makes everything lots of fun. Even fighting with Hook and those smelly pirates. Watch who you call smelly, buddy. Well, there we go. Now, I don't think this gives us every sticker. I think the final world, the Badlands, have a sticker there, but... If we go back to Disney Town now, we should hopefully be able to make at least some ice cream. I'm on it. Thanks for the ingredients! Look! We made some more ice cream! We get 78 Vanilla Glitzes, 66 Bueno Volcanoes, 90 Spark Lemons, 18 Royal Berries, 36 Rockin' Crunches, 24 Big Bad Peats. Okay. Cool. So Vanilla Glitz, that's what we need. So we're missing two. And presumably the two we're missing, we need uh, Open Sesames. Yep, those are only from the second Mirage Arena fight that involves them. And then this one requires Starry Sky Delights. Huh. Now where do you find Starry Sky Delights? I don't know, but we'll probably in the Mirage Arena as well. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome. Now let's put our sticker book together. Let's arrange the stickers. Huey, Dewey, and Louie, so they are here. Okay, apparently that's where we needed to go. How about you? Okay. How about Louie? We get Limit Storm. Cool. The rainbow. Chippendale. 
They can go on the ground. Balloons in the sky. You want them to do that pushy with like the sparkle. Sonic Blade, yes. Cool. So at this point, we are just missing, I think, how many stickers? Okay, we need 140, so that's 14 more points. Yep, so we have two stickers missing there from the last world, and we put them in, and we get the final reward. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. I will, well, most of this footage I can cut out because it's just me running to find the ingredients stuff. But because we beat Neverland and did a bunch of stuff afterwards, I probably will split this up in two videos, or it'll just be one really long one. You'll have to find out later. I'm not sure right now, but thanks for watching, everybody. Next time, we will do be doing more bonus stuff. Probably more command boards and a lot of Mirage Arena. A lot of Mirage Arena, honestly. And then, at the end, we will be going off to the Keyblade Graveyard in Combat Level 9, which is the final world, and we get all that soon. So, look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless. Thank you.